What's going on everybody? Um, I'm going to do a video of doing a rinseless wash on your wheels. Uh, this is if your wheels aren't too dirty, you know, slightly dusted like this. Um, and I can show you, you can see that line. You know, they're, uh, they're dirty. Um, that's where I just wipe my finger. Sorry if uh, it's a little loud in here. I got my fan going. It's, it's been hot. I mean, it's, what time is it right now? It's almost nine o'clock and it's still, uh, it's actually 88 degrees right now, so it's not terrible, but it is hot uh, here in Central Texas. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna do a demo for everybody. This is how I like to just uh, relax and unwind. I do a rinseless wash on my car. I've got another video showcasing that. Um, I'll put it in the description below if you wanna watch that. That's using Wolfgang Uber Rinseless Wash. Uh, this time I'm gonna use uh, Car Pro Echo. Uh, this is a waterless wash and quick detailer. You can also use it as a rinseless wash. So what I like to do is uh, about an ounce and a half and three gallons of water. Uh, I've got my bucket over there. So about an ounce and a half and three gallons of water and then I do their one to 15 ratio in a uh, spray bottle um, for a detail spray to pre-rinse or pre-soak the panel. Um, and then once I'm all done cleaning the car, I do the wheels. That way I just use the leftover water in there. Um, you know, it's a little bit dirty uh, to do the wheels. Uh, these are just some cheap XXR wheels, nothing special. I did ceramic coat them with Crystal Serum Light, um, so they're easier to keep clean, but I mean, they still get dirty. And I've got ceramic brake pads, but you know, uh, you do what you can with, uh, with your, your wheels. So um, if you're worried about uh, your wheels scratching, I mean, they say this is a method that won't scratch, um, but I mean, you know, wheels are wheels. The wheels see the worst of uh, worst of conditions. So, if uh, you have some expensive fancy wheels and you're looking for a good way to clean, um, you know, I don't know what to tell you. This is one way if you want to take that risk. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, let me grab my brush. So these are the brushes I use. Uh, this is a microfiber uh, wheel brush. It's flexible. Uh, go ahead and put that in your bucket. Uh, a little miniature one. Um, this is mainly for the larger brake calipers on the front. This is the rear wheel. Um, then I also use this uh, as a nice soft wheel brush um, to clean the faces of the wheels. And I use this little brush for the lug nuts. So. So I like to start by, I, I start by uh, pre-soaking the wheel. So I got my uh, detail spray mixture here. You can get them nice and saturated. That'll really help, uh, help break up the dust. I mean, you know, the wheels are coated, it's already coming off easily. And uh, I dip this in the bucket. Give it a nice shape, make sure it's all nice and uh, nice. And then, just go over each spoke. Now my wheels are a little more intricate, so a bit of a pain to clean. Not my most, uh, not my favorite dust to clean, but you know, do what you can. Put it all nice and clean. Then I just go XXRs aren't very expensive. I'm not super worried about them as a daily driven car. Take a nice 
uh, microfiber wheel brush. You can use whatever wheel brush you want. This is just what I like to use. And uh, then you just, you know, get the barrels nice and clean. Then you just take a microfiber towel and you dry off your wheels like so. Now if you have like five spoke wheels, you can just reach your hand inside. Um, if you don't, I'm going to show you here in a second what I do to, get to dry the barrels out. Make sure you get the outside and check here. I mean, a lot of the dirt's going to come off the towel, so that's kind of how a uh, Rinse list works. Supposedly the polymer is keep the scratchy. The Carpro Echo does contain a little SIO2 in it. So it's particularly nice for uh, ceramic coated vehicles, wheels, etc. Between the spokes, what I like to do, I take another dry uh, microfiber wheel brush or whatever, I wrap a towel around it, hold it at the back, and that's how I dry in between the spokes. Because my hands are big and I can't get my hands back there. There we have it. That's a nice clean wheel. No dust coming off on that. We can go over to a dirty wheel. See, um, I mean it works that good. So uh, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment below. I mean, just anything you like to recommend, discuss, anything. Uh, I like to talk to everyone that I can. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for uh, more detailing videos. Um, this channel is steadily growing, so I appreciate all the support. I plan on continuing to make all these, so I hope everybody enjoys. Thank you. Have a good day.